Hey everyone, and thank you for tuning in to Bad Boy Gaming. My name is Joey Moss, and today we are going to cover the top 25 most valuable cards in Ultimate Masters. What their prices used to be, what the price points are at now, and why they're at that price. What makes them so special. Quick reminder, a great way to support the channel for absolutely free. Just be a subscriber. Also, hitting the like button does help out a lot. I appreciate you watching. So let's dive right into this. As you guys know, we're going to be cracking open a lot of these Ultimate Masters boxes over the next few days, so stick around. Micaeus the Unhallowed, sitting at $13.80. Now, the prices are going to reflect the medium between eBay and TCG Player. I kind of put the two together uh, for most recently sold and ones that are listed currently on TCG Player. So between the sold on eBay... Uh, in the last few days, and the ones listed on TCG Player, the medium in there, that's where I found my price point. And this price will reflect, the $13.80 will reflect the Ultimate Masters price, not its original set here. So this one first came out in Dark Ascension. It's the only time it's ever been reprinted. It's the very first one. It mostly sees play only in Commander, though. I mean, I did some digging, and uh, the decks that it performs well in are basically in Commander. You're not going to find this used a whole lot in Modern and any other kind of format. It's mainly just Commander. Really cool card, though. $13.80. At one point, it was about $25, $30. Life from the Loam, $15.20. Originally printed in Ravnica, City of Guilds. This is the third reprint we've, we've seen of this. Great for the Dredge decks. Uh, also in Dark Depths, Gitrog Monster, and Lands DEC. Really neat card. This one, not long ago, was $25.30. Bucks. The originals usually go for a bit more. I think they're hanging about $25 right now. Venji Vine. Love the artwork on this. I'm glad they kept the original artwork. Uh, they didn't really need to do an upgrade on it. It just looks fantastic. It's sitting at $16 from Rise of the Eldrazi. It was only printed in Rise and a WPN promo. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that. Um, decks it performs well in are GR Vengevine and Bridgevine. You think it would be Bringevine, but it's just not. Pretty neat card. A lot of these definitely needed reprints, and the price has plummeted a lot, you will notice. Phyrexian Tower, no exception. It's sitting at $16.52. That is the Ultimate Masters version. Urza Saga is where it first came from. There were no foils in Urza Saga except for like this special promo uh, after the fact when this set was printed. But this is the absolute first reprint, so the foil on this is probably going to be jacked up quite a bit. Uh, decks you can find in is Embardment, Explorer Rock, Nick Fit, and Get Rock Monster. Pretty cool card. One of my favorite sets, my actual ultimate, all-time favorite set is Urza Saga. Ulamog, the Infinite. Uh, 17 bucks right now. Rise of the Eldrazi is where it first was printed. This is its third reprint. Mostly played in EDH Commander. These Annihilator cards, I believe there's a total of only six, but Annihilator is just a very, very ridiculous ability. So you can see on the card here, Annihilator 4. Whenever this creature attacks, defending player sacrifices four permanents. Holy crap. And just imagine giving this thing like haste, not to mention its other abilities it can do. Uh, really, really neat card. Definitely sees uh, play in Commander. Champions of Kamigawa, Through the Breach. I don't know why. For the longest time, I thought this card was black, probably because of the other card that has Breach in it. But it's sitting at $18.18 from good old Kamigawa. Second reprint. Um, one of the other ones included was the Amonkhet Inventions. I don't know if any of you have that card, but probably want to hang on to it. Really, really neat card. So this is almost going to be like its second time printed as a masterpiece uh, with these box topper promo cards for buying a booster box. Uh, you can kind of say it's a second masterpiece, or invention, you should say. Through the Breach, really cool card. You can find it in Grixis Delver, Scape Shift, and Sneak Show. Just a few decks. There's always going to be more decks out there. I just didn't want to make a list of 20 for each single card. So, Ancient Tomb, $20.33. Originally printed in Tempest. Another one of my favorite sets from way back in the day when I first started playing. Uh, it's the fourth reprint, including uh, Zendikar Expeditions. So this is like essentially like its second kind of masterpiece print. Uh, all decks that appears in is Levold, Emissary of Trust, Sneak, Show, Brea, and Eldrazi. Really neat card, seeing it at $20.33, so holy crap. And there was not a foil in Tempest. There was no foils at that time. So uh, I'd like to say this is probably going to be the third time it's a foil. Phyrexian Altar from Invasion. 
one of the most expensive cards in Invasion, and it got the reprint. I think it was the most expensive card. First time reprinted, only legal in Legacy, Vintage, and Commander. The rest of the formats, it's banned. Uh, you sacrifice a creature, add one mana of any color. For darn good reasons, I'm sure. $21.42. Uh, you're going to be able to get a foil of this. These are probably not going to be cheap, considering uh, it's the first time it's been reprinted. Kozilek, Butcher of Truth. Love the artwork on this. They also kept the artwork on this. I couldn't imagine them changing the Eldrazi artwork. I don't know if you guys can, but I just can't imagine them changing artwork on any of the Eldrazi cards. It's like, when, when you picture this card, Kozilek, Butcher of Truth, you just picture whatever it is on the card. You know, same with Emrakul and all that other stuff. You know, you really don't steer too far away uh, from, uh, from the actual artwork itself. You know, they just go hand in hand. It's got the Annihilator 4 as well. So it's twenty one fifty. Uh, second reprint. You can find this in Bug Post, Eldrazi Post, and GX Tron. Uh, any of these, of course, Tron related. Uh, any heavy hitters with uh, Eldrazi. Just really cool cards. Of course, Commander. Commander heavy. Commander loves their big Eldrazi cards. Amrakul, the Ions Torn, twenty two dollars and four cents. Oh, how the muddy have fallen! This thing was just sitting at forty to forty five dollars about a month or two ago. All the way down to twenty two oh four. The cheapest one I found sold was for twenty bucks. It's the fourth reprint, including Pro Tour promos. So a lot of you might argue this and say, no, it's only the third time it's been reprinted. Well, it's on a technicality because of the Pro Tour promos, it would be the fourth time. Uh, you can find this card in Sneak Show decks, Gorio's Breach, You Are Breach, and Odrazi Post. Flying Protection from Colored Spells and Annihilator Six. You can't even count on this thing. I mean, when this thing comes out, you're wrapping up the game. I mean, it's essentially over from that point forward. Back to Basics, another really cool card. First reprint in 20 years. Back to Basics. $22.05 from good old Saga. Non-basic lands don't untap during their controller's untap steps. Kind of similar to, like, what a Blood Moon would do in a sense. You know, just basically screwing your uh, opponent's uh, land up. Uh, but uh, it, it cripples players who use the non-basic lands, definitely in like the vintage format and whatnot. Really neat card, and you can find a foil of this. It's probably going to be around 125 to 140 after everything, but uh, right now I think I've seen one recently sold for 220 Just outrageous prices on these things. Demonic Tutor, 23 big ones. Alpha. First time it, it was rep it was printed was an alpha. It's the ninth reprint overall. And interesting fact, this was one of the first giveaways on this channel. Uh, you can find it in J Storm, Ethereum Shaper, Brea, and Oath. Just w I think this is one of my favorite cards of all time. Um, just really neat, and, and I like the new artwork on it too. Search your library for a card, put that card into your hand, then shuffle your library. Beware the generosity of demons. Really, really cool. Celestial Colonnade. A lot of people wanted this one reprinted for the longest time. Originally from World Wake. 23 bucks, 55 cents. First reprint. Arguably the second. Media promos. I, I did some digging and I, I found that the media promos. If anyone knows anything more about media promos, let me know. But then when I went to the list to look at the media promos to find Celestial Colonnade, it wasn't on there. But sources were telling me it was printed in media promos. Anyone who'd like to fill in some blanks there, by all means, leave it. Uh, leave a comment in, the, uh, in this video, I'd like to hear from you. But you can find it on UW Control, Jeskai Control, Brago. I'm going to call it Brago. Why not? King Eternal and UB Con. Um, really, really, oh, UB Control. Really neat card. Definitely needed a reprint. Unfortunately, it's other versions like the other lands, you know, uh, that are similar to this. Just aren't really worth a whole lot. But uh, Celestial Colony definitely hold up. Good old Cold Snap Dark Depths. Second time seeing a reprint. You can find it in Salt Eye Depths, Mono Black, Reanimator, Agro Loam, and Dark Depths, of course. $24.95. Cold Snap's a really interesting set because it was supposed to follow Ice Age, but it didn't follow Ice Age for several years later. I think it was over a decade before they reprint uh, before they printed Cold Snap. Really, really cool. It's one set I'd really like to open some packs on because I, the very first set I got into was Ice Age. I'd like to know what your guys' first set was. But for me, mine was uh, Ice Age. Uh, and anything around that time, really, you know, going a, a year or two before and after. Uh, very powerful card when it, uh, it has, when it has no ice counters on it. Sacrifice it if you do. Create Merit Liege. 
a legendary 2020 black avatar creature token. This comboed well with another card. I think it starts with an H, maybe like Hexing or something like that. Uh, but it was like a two-drop black creature, and when it came out, uh, I believe you just remove all counters from a card. And that thing got banned, really. Well, I think Dark Depths got banned. That card didn't, though. Or they could both be banned. I'm not sure. Temporal Manipulation from Portal Second Age. I remember cracking the original of this, and at the time, it was only like $3 or $2. It was really, really inexpensive. Uh, but take an extra turn after this one. I believe the original printing wasn't rare because Mythics did not exist at that time. Third reprint, including a Judge promo. Mailstorm Wanderer, Baral, Chief of Compliance, Tafiri, Brea, and Ethereum Shaper. I remember when Baral was only a dollar, uh, and now he's up to like seven, eight bucks. Pretty cool. Caracas, 2840. I remember before Eternal Masters, or at the time of Eternal Masters print, I remember pulling a Caracas foil and flipping out. It was worth like 150 bucks then. I'm not sure what a Caracas foil goes for now. I would assume from Eternal Masters, maybe like 60 bucks, uh, roughly. But really, really cool pool on the channel. Um, return target legendary creature to its owner's hand. Just ridiculous. Third reprint, Death and Taxes, Eldrazi, J Storm, and Dark Depths. Bitter Blossom. My favorite fairy card. 28 bucks, 66 cents from Morning Tide. Third reprint, Ban Agro and Grixis Delver, EBX, Shadow. It's supposed to be Shadow, not Shutdown. That could be a new uh, a new archetype, though. Shutdown. I like it. And Dark Depths. Uh, really, really cool card. At the beginning of your upkeep, you lose one life and create a 1 1 Black Fairy Road creature token with flying. If I was to pull a masterpiece, uh, one that's not destroyed, I'd like to pull one of these um, from the box top. I really like Bitter Blossom. Mana Vault, 2875. First reprint was in Alpha, or the first print was in Alpha. This goes all the way back to Alpha. Unbelievable. $20.75. I believe the original version of this is around like $2,000 for the Alpha, but eighth time reprinted, Paradoxical Outcome, or I'm sorry, Control, Keeper, and J Storm. You can find this card. Really, really neat. Also, you see a lot of play in Commander. Uh, a lot of people using that, the Mana Vault and Commander. Engineered Explosives. Could be a sideboard card in quite a few decks, uh, but from Fifth Dawn, $32.85. Got the Sunburst. Love the artwork on it. Uh, it sees play in Bant Aggro, Ironworks Combo, which is the most annoying deck in Modern, if you ask me. Any uh, heavy Modern players in here? Is this one deck you're just like, really? Ironworks Combo again? I don't want to go up against that. Hollow One and Miracles. Awesome card, $32.85. It was sitting around almost $80.00. I think there was a time it was at 90 before the reprint. So holy crap, they didn't need a reprint and it got one. Noble Hierarch, 4988 Conflux. Sees a lot of play. Uh, it's, it's the fourth reprint appearing in both Judge and Pro promos, as well as Masters 2015. Uh, again, very heavy play in all legal formats. Uh, I do love this card. The foil version is still going for a pretty penny. It was at about $60 before the reprint. It didn't really drop a whole lot, honestly. Maybe 65 tops. And I remember having a Noble Hierarch foil a while back, and that was at 80 uh, from the set that they mixed all three from that block and uh, created nothing but foil packs. I wish they'd bring back all foil booster packs. That was really neat. Cavern of Souls. Awesome card. Probably won't lose much value from here. 54.65 from Abyssin Restored. The biggest hit you could pull out of Amazon Restored. Uh, the other big hits were reprinted already, but only the second time it's been reprinted. First was in Modern Masters 2017. Uh, it's great in Tribal or Sideboard against Counter Spells. Very true. Um, add one mana of any color. Spend this mana only to cast a creature spell of the chosen type, and that spell can't be countered. Just phenomenal. Like anything Tribal, throw a place out of this in. What blows my mind is that it's not legendary. They could have very well made this legendary. Yeah, that would have shrunk the price down. You probably only see this thing worth maybe like 20 bucks, 15 bucks, because it'd be limited to how many you can have uh, on the field, only one. But because it's just a, a normal, uh, non basic, uh, the price is quite outrageous. Snapcaster Mage, 56.75 from Innistrad. Third reprint, one of which was Pro Tour promo. That goes with Liliana. Decks you can find it in, J Storm, Ban Agro, UW Control, Ethereum, Shaper, and Brea. You'll notice a lot of that. A lot of Brea, J Storm, Ban Agro, uh, and Ethereum Shaper. There's like at least eight cards um, that are on this top 25 list that fit into those decks. 
pretty ridiculous. So you can see how heavily played some of these modern decks are. But Snapcaster Mage is an amazing card. And uh, they kept the original artwork. Really neat. Tarmogoyf. This one I'm pumped about. It's from Future Sight. And the Future Sight version, I think, is still about $85, $90. Bucks. Um, at one point, I think it was at 180 to 200 when the deck was just on fire. Tarmogoyf definitely fluctuates a lot. Uh, the last time I cracked open uh, some booster boxes, uh, I think it was 2015, and it was like at 120, 130 for a, a normal Tarmogoyf, and the foil was like 250. But uh, the price has tanked. Holy crap! Down to 59.45. But I do expect this one to be more expensive than 2015 and 17, uh, mainly because that artwork. This is another card I would love to pull. Uh, the box topper, just because that artwork is amazing. And I think people are going to be willing to pay more for it because uh, because of the artwork. Uh, that and, of course, uh, the Future Sight version. But just a, a crazy, amazing card. Jun's Death Shadow, Abzan, Jund, and Golgari mid-range. You can find it most used. Karn Liberated, sixty-five twenty-five. I found these as cheap as 60 bucks. Uh, believe it or not, from New Phyrexia. Only the second time Karn has seen a reprint. First was in Modern Masters 2015. You can find it in decks like Eureka, Berea, Eldrazi Tron, GX Tron, and Mudstacks. I don't even know what Mudstacks is. If anyone wants to fill me in the blanks, by all means, go ahead. But Karn Liberated, amazing card. As we all know, he's basically like kind of the reincarnated Urza. And I still believe we are going to see an actual Urza card printed at some point. I got a feeling we will see an actual card printed, not in one of those unsets, but we'll see an actual Urza card. We'll see. Liliana of the Veil, the number one. Uh, I've seen this as cheap as 58 bucks on eBay. This one, $70.18 is about the average market price there. Uh, originally printed in Innistrad. Liliana just, when, when you think of beauty and, and, and uh, lustful or just gorgeous uh appealing you know um you think of liliana she she's gorgeous uh second most expensive walker uh right next to jace the mind sculptor which is number one at 92 dollars 50 cents currently golgari midrange agro loam john brea and ethereum shaper are the decks you can find liliana the veil in that wraps it up, guys. I really, really appreciate you tuning in. Uh, make sure you hit that like button. It helps out a lot. And by all means, subscribe. And stick around for the next few days because we're going to be cracking open a lot of Ultimate Masters booster boxes. You're not going to want to miss it. Appreciate you tuning in. PLA.